In this video, let us see what are the different types of prodrugs and their active metabolites. So first of all, let us see what are the prodrugs. Suppose a drug is given in vivo and it is converted to metabolites by metabolism with the cytochrome P450 system. Now, if the drug is in the inactive form, the drug can be converted an active metabolite by this metabolism. Now, this active metabolite acts on the target organ to produce the farm classical effects. So, such type of drugs which are inactive before the administration into the body, but they are converted into active metabolites after biotransformation or the metabolism are called as prodrugs. For example, enlapril is a prodrug which is converted into enlaprilate into the body which is an active metabolite. Here you should not confuse that a drug may be active in the its original form as well as in the metabolite form. So such type of drugs are not considered as a prodrugs. So prodrug is a drug which is inactive in its original form and it is come to active form only after metabolism. How these products can be identified? We come across with the so many drug names and among these, how can we identify one drug is a product? So most of the times we can identify the products by various ways. First of all, by using the prefix. For example, valacyclovir is a product of acyclovir. So we know the acyclovir is one of the drug antiviral agent. So its product is the valacyclovir. Similarly, sometimes we can identify the products by their suffix. For example, fludarabine phosphate is a product of fludarabine. So you can easily see here the suffix indicates it may be a prodrug. So don't think that again all the suffix may lead to prodrugs. Few of the drug names having suffix may be acting as prodrugs. Similarly, we can see the sum of the prodrugs by a suffix add on the, the name of its active metabolite. For example, enlapril is a prodrug and its metabolite is the enlaprilate, where we are adding the AT as a suffix to the name of the prodrug. Sometimes we can have a different name of the prodrug and its active metabolite. For example, capecitabine is a prodrug and its active metabolite is the 5-fluorouracil. There is no relation between the names of these two drugs and here it is very difficult to identify such type of drugs whether it is a prodrug or active drug. So now the prodrugs can be identified either with a prefix on the prodrug, otherwise a suffix on the prodrug, otherwise a suffix on the active metabolite and finally the prodrugs with a different name compared with their active metabolites. So let us go one by one. First of all, prodrugs with prefix. As we already seen, valacyclovir is a prodrug of acyclovir. So valacyclovir is an antiviral acid. Similarly, valgancyclovir is a prodrug of gancyclovir. This is again one of an antiviral acid. And pivampicillin is a prodrug of ampicillin. Ampicillin is a one of a broad spectrum antibiotic. Fosampranavir is a prodrug of amprinavir. So fosampranavir, where FOS is a prefix used to indicate its uh, prodrug. So you can see that all these drugs are having some prefix which indicates that they are prodrugs. Now let us go with a few of the products with suffix. Prednisolone phosphate is a product of prednisolone. Gabapentin anacarbyl is a product of gabapentin. Olmisartan medoxomil is a product of olmisartan. Fludarabine phosphate is a product of fludarabine. Now let us see the active metabolites added with suffix. Suppose drug like enlapril is a prodrug and with its active metabolite enlaprilate. Similarly, ramipril, ramiprilate, 
फोसिनोप्रिल फोसिनोप्रिलैट एंड ट्रैंडोप्रिल ट्रैंडोप्रिलैट यू कैन सी दैट इन ऑल दिस आर द एसी इनहिबिटर्स and they are pro drugs and they are converted into active metabolites which is indicated by the suffix at here you should not think that all the ac inhibitors are pro drugs two of the ac inhibitors like captopril and lisinopril are the active drugs but remaining all drugs are the pro drugs so all these pro drugs are having their active metabolites with a change in the name by addition of a suffix at to the names of their pro drugs now the fourth one the prodrugs with different names so there is no relation between the name of the prodrug and its active metabolite so you can see here azadothymidine is a product of zidovudine triphosphate zidovudine is a one of an anti hiv agent and its prodrug is the azadothymidine and here you can observe that both azadothymidine as well as zidovudine triphosphate both can be used as the drugs that means what are the active metabolite of this pro drug is also exist as a individual drug and it can be used alone similarly capecitabine is a pro drug whereas uh, its metabolite is a 5 fluorouracil so 5 fluorouracil can be directly given as a direct drug or as a pro drug like capecitabine similarly famcyclovir having a metabolite pencyclovir spironolactone it is one of a potassium sparing diuretic which is having some direct action as well as its metabolite candenone is again responsible for the most of the pharmacological actions of the spironolactone tegafer tegafer is a prodrug of the 5 fluorouracil similarly dipivifrin dipivifrin is a prodrug of the epinephrin so epinephrin can be directly used as well as it can also be used as its prodrug dipivifrin similarly dambuterol is having a metabolite terbutaline finally terfenadine is a prodrug of the fexofenadine actually nowadays terfenadine is withdrawn from the market because of its effect on the qt interval terfenadine increases the qt interval in the ecg thereby it can precipitate one of a fatal arrhythmia torsi de pointis so because of such fatal side effect nowadays terfenadine is withdrawn from the market but surprisingly its active metabolite fexofenadine is having no such side effect and it is used as an anti allergic agent now we can see few of the products which are having different names compared with their active metabolites but these active metabolites are not used as such they are always used as the, their products for example omeprazole we know it is one of a well known proton pump inhibitor is actually prodrug and when it is given into the body it is coming to omeprazole sulfonamide which is an active metabolite similarly sulfa salicylazine sulfa salicylazine is a prodrug of the 5 mno salicylic acid sulfa salicylazine is going to be cleaved by azo reductases thereby it is converted into 5 amino salicylic acid similarly ol salicylazine is a prodrug of 5 amino salicylic acid and the drug is called methinamine is a drug used to treat the urinary tract infections which is converted into formaldehyde within the urine which is responsible for its toxic effect on the bacteria so methinamine is also considered as a pro drug and its active metabolite is the formaldehyde similarly allopurinol allopurinol is one of an anti gout agent which is converted into oxypurinol which is responsible for the inhibition of the xanthine oxidase enzyme thereby it inhibits the biosynthesis of the uric acid similarly simvastatin is one of a anti hyperlipidemic which is converted into beta hydroxy acid derivative responsible for the inhibition of hmg coa reductase enzyme nabimetone is a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug which is converted into 6 methoxy naphthalene acetic acid as an active metabolite so all these are the pro drugs which are having the active metabolites and these drugs are given only as prodrugs which are converted into active metabolites within the body